the Tui Oil Field, New Zealand's first standalone offshore oil field development, has become an important component of the national economy since it started producing on the 30th of July 2007. In the first 11 months to the end of the June 2008 financial year, Tui produced over 14.2 million barrels of light, sweet crude. The project, which is likely to continue producing oil until around 2020, is expected to pay more than 3.2 billion New Zealand dollars in royalties and other taxes over its lifespan. Not to mention the huge contribution to the local and regional economies from the supply of services, employment and community sponsorships from the project. It all began in early 2003 when New Zealand Oil and Gas and its partners drilled a successful exploration well into the Tui Field, 50 kilometres off the Taranaki coast. This success was quickly followed by the discovery of the nearby Pateke and Omokura oil accumulations. Excitement mounted as the discoveries were declared commercially viable, leading the field's partners to approve the development of the project in November 2005. AWE, with a 42.5% interest in the field, became the operator of the joint venture. A joint venture which includes Mitsui with a 35% stake, Pan Pacific Petroleum with a 10% stake, and New Zealand Oil and Gas through its subsidiary Stuart Petroleum with a 12.5% stake. In just 20 months from the decision to proceed with the development, a vast range of objectives were set and achieved. Four production wells were drilled in water up to 120 metres deep. Meanwhile, up in Singapore, a floating production storage and offloading vessel, known by its initials as an FPSO, was being commissioned. Originally a Suez Max oil tanker, it was converted for operation in New Zealand and renamed the Umuroa, which translates to long oven in Māori. Also during this period, a wide range of specialised oil production equipment began to arrive at the port of Taranaki from all around the world. Local engineering firms, such as Fitzroy Engineering, were contracted to produce a variety of heavy equipment items, including the massive midwater arches. Weighing more than 100 tonnes, the midwater arches are suspended in the ocean below the FPSO to support the oil flow lines running from the wellheads on the seafloor up to the FPSO. By July 2007, the Umuroa was in position and ready for oil production, a significant occasion marked by a launch function attended by the Prime Minister, Helen Clark. A development like the Tui Fields brings many benefits to us, not least the contribution to economic and job growth, regional development, and the positive effect on the balance of payments of being an oil exporter as well as being an oil importer. ProSafe Production Services, a proven operator of FPSOs around the world, built, own, operate and maintain the Omoroa under a long-term charter arrangement. Home to up to 50 engineers and tradespeople working 12-hour shifts for up to three weeks at a time, a key focus of the Omoroa's operation is safety. Being located 50 kilometres offshore means personnel and some goods must be regularly transported out by helicopter. Staff and contractors making regular trips out to the FPSO must complete helicopter underwater emergency training. Supporting the Tui and other Taranaki oil fields, Helicopters New Zealand has constructed its own dedicated heliport for the 25-minute airborne ferry service. Each passenger undergoes a safety briefing before each flight and must wear specially designed survival flight suits. Once on board, there is an extensive safety and induction briefing for each new arrival, and the focus on safety doesn't stop there. Safety is second to none. As a result, we have toolbox meetings, permit meetings. We then explain that to the crew. The crew every morning has got an opportunity to comment on the day's activities. The permit to work system is an official document that dictates how we manage risks and it's signed off by four different supervisors, including the OIM. We have a marked up, very big, large drawing of the whole facility. A hot work permit will be designated by a red magnet, 
a coalwork permanent blue magnet that's strategically placed on the location of the facility. So at any one time we can see the work that's actually happening on the facility by looking at that board. When the Umaroas holds are full with up to 630,000 barrels of oil, a shuttle tanker is linked by pipeline and the oil offloaded. The tanker visits are carefully scheduled for approximately every two weeks, with the cargo transfer typically taking about two days to complete. A key partner in the offload process is Offshore Solutions, who consistently monitor the weather for the best conditions for the offloads. Their experienced pilots go out from the port of Taranaki to meet the tankers and navigate them safely to the Umaroa. They are then manoeuvred into position by support vessels, such as the Pacific Chieftain, which help maintain the tanker's position for the offload. Constant onboard testing ensures that TUI oil meets world quality standards. The oil comes up through the wells, which comes up as gas, water and oil, all mixed into one. Uh, basically here we separate it, we separate the gas, the water and the oil and this is the end product, the 100% uh, light crude oil. The high quality crude is then shipped to oil refineries mainly in Australia but also in Southeast Asia and even Hawaii. Keeping the Umaroa and its more than 100 personnel fully operational requires the highly specialised services of a number of contractors. Heavy equipment, vital supplies and food are transported out to the Umaroa by support vessels such as the Pacific Chieftain operated by Offshore Solutions. Ensuring that everyone on board is well fed and the accommodation maintained is the role of another experienced oil field contractor, Wendell. In addition to an ever-changing menu, Wendell also looks after everyone's laundry as well as cleaning rooms and ablution blocks. The Tui field produced at an average rate of over 41,000 barrels a day for the first year. Production rates will decline over time, but Tui will be around for a long while yet. As one of the largest oil field discoveries in New Zealand, the Tui field is providing huge economic benefits to the local Taranaki economy, directly employing more than 100 personnel. It indirectly employs many more through the wide range of contractors involved in the field's operation. For everyone involved, the TUI field is recognised as a world-class operation that is proving to be a great investment for New Zealand Oil and Gas and its joint venture partners.